Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Utter Outdoorsman. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a review on the UltraPod 2 and the UltraPod 2 Grip. Um, this has actually been kind of a requested review because I've talked about them in previous videos. Um, and you're only really gonna see one of them regularly in the video. The other one I'll try and show off, but um, it's currently being used because I figured what's a better way to do a review on the product than have it be used throughout the video. So it's actually holding up the camera that we're currently uh, filming with, which is why I'm sitting on the ground because, well, you kind of need it to be um, stable on something. Unfortunately, the camera that I used to film is pretty big and I don't want to strap it up on a tree. Um, but anyways, this is a tripod that I like to use a lot and I'm not always going to talk about it being filmed. Um, I kind of hemmed in hot at doing a review on this because I don't like doing a lot of YouTubing reviews of equipment because that's not what my channel's about. But after my recent honeymoon, I came to a realization of what would be a great case use of a review for this. I used this a lot when I was traveling for taking pictures. Taking pictures of a lot of the scenery when I was out for hikes and when I was out for, um, well, actually traveling a lot with um, my wife when we were on our honeymoon, when we were at different places. Because one of the things was, I didn't want to bring a selfie stick. I didn't want to be like with, I didn't want to have the pictures look kind of like this. Um, or look a lot, even though there are some that look like this, look like this. Um, there are some that look like the second one but I wanted some actual really nice portraits of us. Um, so what I ended up doing was I brought along the UltraPods. I didn't want to bring along my actual tripod. So I brought along the UltraPods. Now, why are these called an UltraPod? Whereas, do I just hold it like this? Now, this strap comes undone. I'll show you why this strap is here in a second. You undo it, it undoes these legs, and it becomes a tripod. This is the UltraPod grip, which means it just, it has some extra gripping points. Um, and I'll show you why that's important in a little bit. Um, but what I would do is, at certain points where we got pulled up, where we were at a pull off point, we're, so we're in Northern Arizona, we went to a lot of the uh, different points, like, we only drove through Sedona, but we went to like uh, Sunset Crater uh, and that loop. We went to Grand Canyon, we went to uh, Petrified State Forest, and we went to Walnut Canyon, went to a few, went to a few other places. We went all over. Um, so there was a lot of opportunities to take pictures, especially at a lot of pull-offs. So what we ended up doing was I'd pull off the car and then just I'd put the, I would put this on top of it with a camera on top, put it on a timer, run over, again, get right next door, click, and we'd go. One of the things was, I could either shove this in my pocket or shove this in my backpack, and if we ever came across a spot that we wanted to take a picture, the two of us, I could easily just set up a similar setup, which I did a couple times, and run over to her and take another selfie. There was a couple points where I did that. And, but remind you, mind you, I never did this at a point where it would inconvenience other people or it was dangerous to us. I always did this at points where I was being very respectful, respectful of other people. Um, I don't like being disrespectful to other people. I was always very, I was trying to always be very courteous to other people. Um, and nature and such. Um, I was trying my best to do that. There was even points where, that's why there was a lot of pictures with me holding the camera. Um, or sometimes what I would do is I'd hold up, I would have the camera up on here and if I needed to take a selfie but I wanted more of a shot, I would literally just hold my camera on the end of this and then just, I would put the timer on and just throw it up like this and do that. Um, so this came in really handy to do that where it gave you a little bit more stability with the camera. And the best thing is, 
there's a lot of camera mounts for, or a lot of tripod mounts for your phone on the market, some really good ones. Which means if you wanna get those really good shots with your phone from a distance, these come in really handy as well, especially when you travel. Now the benefit of these that I really found also, especially if you travel, especially by plane, was these fit in my luggage that we checked versus my tripod, which doesn't. So I could fit multiples of these, whereas that one I couldn't. Or I mean, the ones I normally would put up, I, I couldn't. Um, so this fit. And sometimes I can't always put it on here. And I just didn't want to have to go through the process of set up my entire tripod, set up the shot, run over and do that. Whereas this one I went, boop, line up shot, and went. And sometimes I even just leave it on the bottom and I hold it as we went. So it, it kind of came in handy. So there's another benefit of this, especially if you have a GoPro. Because uh, I tend to use this a lot with my GoPro. Uh, let's... So imagine my hiking pole is a tree. And you have the strap. I told you, the strap would come in handy. Even with, the, even with the hiking pole as well. You could treat it as either a hiking pole or a tree. What you do, I'm gonna come closer. You go over to what you want it to thread onto. Sometimes it's gonna be tricky when you want to do it one-handed. You thread it through this. And if, if it's relatively small, you have to thread it through a second time sometimes. And what you do is you then put it back on itself with the Velcro. And you then have it where it's attached to whatever pole, tree, or what have you that you've strapped it to. And that way you have a tripod that straps onto it. And even with a pole, with a pole, you have a selfie stick, if you so choose. And I've actually used ultrapods to make selfie sticks for filming, where I want to walk and I want to talk. And you could, if you put it on a tree, you can turn the tree into the tripod, which I've also done for filming. So, these are very multi-purpose. So I really recommend if you, like if you're looking for an alternative to a tripod, and they're relatively cheap, I'm forgetting the price of it because I haven't looked at them in a while, check them out. Um, I'll put some links down below. They're affiliate links, they help out the channel. Um, I'll put a link to these two. There are other models out there as well. There's a small one that's even smaller than these if you're looking to cut some weight. And there's a, a selfie version of it, which actually like, if you want to grip it, actually works like a handle. I have all of them. <laughs> um, they're all decent, but I like these two the best. Um, because the selfie one, the strap system isn't as good, and the small one I find is too small for my use. So I like these two, the grip and the other one. But I guess I'll show you what the camera one looks like, because I told you I would do that. Hold on one second as I think. So this is the other UltraPod. So the difference between the grip and the ultra the other ultrapod too is the other ultrapod only has the gripping points at the three ends whereas the grip has it has a little extra at the top here and has a lot more here whereas this only has it at these separate points and this is tends to be how i hold it where i kind of balance it off in this case i had to balance a little forward because i was on a, a tilt but this is how I use it. Um, sometimes when I'm on a car, I'll lean a little further back, just as a balancing point. But, but as I said, this is the these are the UltraPods. 
feel free to check them out. I'll put some links down below if you're interested. They're great for taking pictures. They're great for filming. Um, they're great if you just like taking pictures um, with a family, with a loved one. Um, they came, these were a rock star on my honeymoon. Uh, I don't always use them for filming, but as far as picture taking goes, like I use them a decent amount for filming, but when it comes to my honeymoon, these things really did come, become a rock star for taking pictures. And I'll probably have posted some throughout here, but I'll, throughout the video. But anyways, my name's Nate, I'm the Outdoorsman. Get outside, have some fun. Take some great pictures. See everyone.